So after a, a kind of crazy childhood, became a firefighter EMT. I did that through grad school. And um, while I was in grad school, I was fighting professionally and 9-11 happened. Um, I just finished the police academy and, you know, watched Americans decide if they're going to burn alive or jump to their death. So the falling man, I remember sitting there and watching the falling man was an iconic photo of, and you even post on your Instagram for people that want to go check it out. Nine yeah. 11 this year. Yeah. It's right now. It has the little thing over it. Like this is sensitive content, yeah. which it is, but it is, that was a yeah. motivate, motivate. You use something bad for good. So keep, if they want to check or bad out. for bad, I was just more effective at being bad than they were. You know, they, they, they scored 3000 kills in their little act on nine 11 and, we burnt their countries to the ground. You know, yeah. I don't know why people keep doing this. They're like, do you want, know let's go do Pearl Harbor. And we're like, okay, we're going to drop atomic bombs on you. Yeah, yeah. Like, Hey, let's go find some planes into some buildings. Like we will invade your country for 20 years. Like America has like a chip on its shoulder yeah. all the way from the beginning. It's like, Oh, we're going to tax you for a whole bunch of tea. And we're like, we're going to throw the tea in the Harbor cause you're being a jerk. And they're like, all right, well, we're going to have this little civil unrest and we're going to shoot somebody. And we're like, all right, well, we're going to kill every one of you that's still on this continent. At some juncture, I hope the world learns that like, stop fucking with us. Yeah. You know, like we don't respond well. We're, we're, we're a bunch of immature. And, and right now for people that grew up in America that are just like, man, that sounds really hardcore, right? Yeah. Like think about it. we're in Texas right now. People can shoot guns, California. You can shoot guns, go hunt, but there's a lot more regulations. Yeah. And you get desensitized to real problems that go on in the world and and how you respond. For me, like that's kind of inspiring, like motivating. I'm like, when I listen to the uh, some patriotic songs, like I get choked up and excited because yeah. I'm like, dude, we're like the strong arm. Like this is good. Like someone has to rise up in power and kind of be the person that's like, don't mess with us. And it keeps everyone, what's the, do you, you said it was bad for bad. Is there a balance of good with that? Are you inspired by that? Well, I, I hate the, um, you know, enlisted on, on nine 11 and I went over and did horrible things to evil people. Yeah. You know, like war is horrible. So like glorifying acts of war, you know, movies in Hollywood and, and hero this, or it's, it's just as, as somebody that has gone over and done those things, like it's, it's disingenuous, you know, or we see the worst of, of humankind, you know, yeah. like the art of species, you want to see the worst, you go to war and like the things that a man can do to another man, it's, it's horrific. Um, you know, but for the greater good, I hate that argument. So that's why I, I went over and did evil on our, our behalf. So yeah. we could, so we could kind of have this. Yeah. And you would never, you would choose not to, it's not like you'd rather not do it. I for even sure. think of, a. Operation Underground Railroad, O-U-R. They free sex tra sex slaves and things like that. And I'm sure they would rather not get into these fights, not have to do that, not have to go, you know, beat these guys' face in, which I'm not sure if they do, but, I, you know, that's what you would want to do to these yeah. people. It'd be better not to have them. That'd be the best yeah. case scenario. But in a, in a place where there is wars, because let's sidetrack real quick. Right now we're on 9-11 when you enlisted, but before we even go there, there's people right now all over the world that I've heard rumors of that wants America to fail. And maybe there's a lot of them that a lot of are them. planning, thinking uh, Middle Eastern countries I've heard. Uh, again, I'm going to talk broadly. So if I offend people, like that's my ignorance. Yeah. But I'll, I'll talk very specifically. You know, we, we have absolute enemies overseas that want to see us fail. Yeah. yeah. And, and if we just sit here and go, hey, like we just don't want any problems, you know, and we just... Yeah allow things to happen over and over again without standing up that I'm assuming that things would go really, really bad. Can you shed some light on plots over in the world? Cause right mm -hmm. now we're thinking about throwing bricks at our own freaking businesses and yep. all this crap that we may see tonight where there's other people that are sitting there with like, yes, yeah. like Please this do is that. amazing. Please do that. Shed some light on yeah, this. They're not just sitting there rubbing their hands. They're stoking the fires. They're, yeah. they're pre-positioning pallets of bricks mm -hmm. And they are funding insurgencies. Because they got lots of money to throw at this they to do. see us go Yeah, down. I think China has a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. And they're, China is absolute an enemy to us. We are in a proxy Cold War with China. There's, there's no splitting hairs about that. We have been at war with them for about 10 years. Um, Russia is a, a distant second string, but we are also at war with Russia. And we've been at war with Russia for 40 years. And uh, 
peaks and valleys of this war from, you know, the height of the Cold War to the Cuban Missile Crisis to proxy wars in Syria. I mean, that's very fairly recent. Funding ISIS, funding Iran. These, these are things that are very current day. And if at and now at 2020 on Election Day, November 3rd, they are 100 percent, no doubt, funding to destabilize our electoral process to def, to they, they don't need America um, to crumble. They just got to make it look bad. 